I am back with another Mod Shapes. I'm uh, excited. This morning, I was very pleased to find out that we did not run out of filament as I feared yesterday. And it was nearing completion. I believe at this point it's 96% complete. Um, there are a couple things that I can see that need to be adjusted on it. Uh, there's a little bit of, I think I've got a Z-axis issue. And um, that's going to have to probably be dealt with eventually. But right now, I would say this is so far quite successful. And uh, I'll probably use great care with uh, removing it from the print bed. And probably will do a coat of resin. One thing's for sure, I definitely need to clean this work area and get rid of some of these uh, bottles and prepare uh, for the new action that's going to take place. Hey girl! There she is! Hi girl! Oh yeah, there it is. Isabel is killing the scratching posts instead of our furniture. <laughs> so these are our girls. This is Isabel. She's the tortie. And Samantha is the little gray girl. And uh, both of them are very beautiful, wonderful companions. And we're very lucky that we were able to rescue them. And one of the reasons why I was concerned about running out of filament is because this print took about six and maybe six hours and 35 minutes longer than it was expected to take. Uh, and that makes a big difference when you're planning out your filament. So the lesson I learned, always put a little buffer in there, just in case. It was a pretty long process, but the result is pretty good. Now the original problem that I wanted to fix, I fixed. There is an additional access issue, but the first problem with the weak joint at the top, no longer a problem. This other issue, on the other hand, I think I can solve this the same way with resin. We're going to take the inside and fill it with resin. So this is what it looks like right now uh, before I get started doing that. I'm going to use plain regular art resin. I'm going to mix it pearlized pigment. It has a nice metallic feel. And I'm going to clean off this workbench first and come back. So now we're prepping and I'm using masking tape with painter's tape. I'm putting it on the outside of the sphere because eventually I'm going to mix up a batch of resin. I'm going to apply the resin to the inside of the sphere and I'm using the painter's tape to control the flow so it doesn't get up unruly or out of hand. <laughs>
And so now after coloring the resin, I'm just giving the inside area where I feel like it's weak a good coat of this white resin. And I do this in the center part as well. And uh, once I'm satisfied with that, I went ahead and, and sort of reached inside and did the same thing to the lower parts. And of course, because we did over prepare a little bit, I mixed up the Sambaha blue and that pearlized white and I'm doing um, a little casting in this, in this mold. Um, we have to wait about, let's say 12 to 15 hours and then we'll take a look and see how the lampshade is doing. And the results are here. You can see side by side the original lamp that I made in the second version. And here it is on the lamp. Now I have a set of two. There's a little bit of oddity here. I think hexagonal instead of rectilinear fill was selected when I made this G-code. It was an error on my part. And you can see how uh, wonderful and ironic. This is the Titan application that allows me to change colors and you can see how beautiful this lamp looks when it changes colors. I would say this is a pretty good lamp. We're gonna leave it on the shade for now. Is it perfect? No. I mean clearly these imperfections are more visible now when the light is on but uh, we're learning and we're having a good time and I really think this is a, a really interesting improvement over the existing lamp. So we have to make a few adjustments to the process. There'll probably be a part three in this video. Uh, and just for comparison, here is the original geometry that I turned into the lamp before I made the changes. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe. Smash the like button for me or the dislike, whatever you think. And remember, it's always the right time to be compassionate. I'll see you guys on the next one.